special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the T-44. The T-44 is a medium tank first produced near the end of World War II by the Soviet Union. It was the successor to the T-34 offering improved uh, ride and cross country performance and much greater armor. It was designed to be equipped with an 85mm main gun but by the time the vehicle was fully tested the T-34 also uh, was basically equipped with an 85mm gun. So both tanks pretty much offered the similar performance so introducing the T-44 was not considered as important as increasing T-34 production. Uh, fewer than 2,000 T-44s were built and that's pretty much compared to 58,000 T-34s. Although the T-44 was available by the end of the war it was not used in combat. Uh, over the uh, next few years, the Soviet Union tried to basically upgrade the T-44 by trying a 122mm gun, uh, but the turret uh, was too small for it, and the rate of fire was also uh, not what they wanted. And then they also tried a 100mm gun, which was more promising, but it didn't really, you know, kick off, and it was just more work than it was actually worth. Uh, later on, it pretty much led to the T-44 being phased out, and the new line of t 54s and 55s uh, to basically take the place of this tank and become the most produced tank of all time. Uh, the standard version of the T-44 again was equipped with an 85mm gun. It had 120mm of armor. Uh, it had a length of uh, 7.65 meters with the gun facing forward. Its uh, speed was uh, 53 kilometers per hour and um, which translates to 33, mil or 33 miles per hour. Um, anyways, uh, it's an overall pretty awesome tank, and, uh, you know, again, it's not a tank that's very, uh, widely known, but it's, uh, looks pretty kind of modern for its time, the end of World War II, so, uh, very interesting to say the least. Uh, this vehicle is a Patreon requested build, so I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to head over to my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you guys can go ahead and take a look at the reward tiers and earn some awesome perks for uh, basically getting or uh, basically donating a certain amount each certain amount each month. Uh, I really do appreciate my Patreon supporters. Uh, they really you know keep the channel kind of going and stuff like that, and just you know helps me out a little bit. Um, you know with YouTube's decreasing ad revenue um, pretty much all the time. So, uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, anyways, going ahead and taking a look at the uh, T44 itself. It's uh, pretty awesome. Now, I did have a design for the T44. You can see the T44 100 in the background there, which is the version equipped with the 100mm main gun. Um, however, uh, you know, I have it translated over. You can see kind of how old the other one was compared to this one. So, this one's been completely revamped and obviously looks a whole lot better. Um, so we have the main gun here, the 85mm gun, uh, the turret, uh, which is uh, pretty nice, came out pretty nice uh, all the way around, and just a uh, you know, standard kind of tank turret, nothing super fancy about it. Uh, we also have the front up here where the driver's um, hatch, all that kind of stuff will be located, uh, just the front plates here, the uh, mantlet, and uh, just a bunch of detailing all around the tur turret as always. Uh, going ahead and continuing on to the back, we have pretty much all your vents, um, some fuel tanks that could be probably detached, um, detached, or, uh, you know, detached, attached to the back here to provide extra fuel, uh, giving it some greater range to operate in, um, so that's located on the back there, and overall that's pretty much the T-44, it's, um, you know, pretty nice, uh, simple tank really, and is uh, kind of a good, you know, kind of cons, or good intro tank really to the Cold War, it just kind of blends that you know, somewhat World War II uh, tech with, you know, the new kind of modern uh, way of doing tanks and stuff like that. Um, well, modern for the time. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this build. Without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, Layer 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have Layer 1. For Layer 1, what we want to do to go ahead and get started is we're going to go ahead and place down 1 and 2 nether brick slabs across like this. Coming off those two nether brick slabs, we're going to place down two nether brick top slabs. Now, real quick, just give you guys an idea of where we're starting the vehicle. This is the right front of the vehicle right here where these two uh, slabs are located, kind of in this section here. Uh, so basically the right front, and we're going to go ahead and basically work our way along the right side, move over to the middle, and then the left side over here. So just make sure you have plenty of space to build this. Anyways, let's continue on. So after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two here of green stained clay with a stone button on, this, on the side here. Uh, we then want to place down a narrow row of two of narrow brick slabs, followed by a row of two of green stained clay, stone button on the side there of the blocks. 
Uh, we're then going to grab ourselves dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs like this across, and then two right behind them. We're then going to place down a narrow row of two green stained clay, stone bun on the side. Uh, we're going to take dark oak wood stairs again, place down a row of two, and a row of two of dark oak wood stairs behind them. After that, we're going to place down a row of two of narrow brick slabs, a row of two of narrow brick top slabs across, and then uh, we're going to go and transition now to the middle. So you should have something that looks just like this for the right side of the tracks. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to grab ourselves some uh, nether brick, or, or some dark oak wood, my bad. We're going to place down a uh, row of uh, three across right here, coming off this uh, row of two here of nether brick slabs. Uh, we also want to go ahead and go to the back here. We're going to go off these nether brick um, top slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs coming off of those slabs. We then just want to go ahead and take our slabs, fill in the middle space in between these rows with dark oak wood all the way across. Like that, completely fill in that section in. On the back here, we're also going to grab ourselves dark oak wood fence gates. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate uh, opened up, coming off the two slabs here on both sides. So you get something that looks like that on the back. Continuing over to the sides again, we're going to place down a row of two of narrow brick slabs, followed by a row of two of narrow brick top slabs coming off those two slabs. And we're just copying the same thing we did for the tracks over on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy what I've done the air side real quick. If you need to refer back to the air side, if you get a little uh, confused here, but it's the same exact design um, here on both sides. So we're just going to take this. Uh, pretty much all the way back to this point here. Never break half slabs, never break slabs. Again, stone buns along those um, green stain clay blocks. And once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for your first layer. With that, we can go and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer two. For layer two, we're going to go ahead and take another brick uh, stairs, for, or actually, my bad, dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down a row of two of dark oak wood stairs across these two narrow brick top slabs. We then want to place down a row of two of or dark oak wood slabs in between the stairs across like that. After that, we're going to place down a row of seven of green stained clay going all the way across, followed by a stone button on both ends, and then an item frame that's also going to be uh, on the uh, green stained clay block on both ends. So, uh, a stone button and an item frame on both sides like that. After that's complete, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab going back on both sides. We then want to place down a nether brick half slab coming off that nether brick slab like so. Um, and then we're just going to go, ahead and go back from this slab. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, just five narrow brick slabs back. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, and five back. Uh, we then want to take our green hardened stain clay. We're going to place down a row of six. That's going to go across the side here. Actually, my bad. A row of seven. That's going to go across here, basically behind these narrow brick slabs, all the way back here, like so. When we get to this point here, we're going to place down one more green stain clay block on both sides. A uh, narrow brick top slab coming off that green stain clay block. We're then going to take green stain clay, place down a row of seven, go all the way across. A stone button. Uh, on the ends here, followed by an item frame, and same thing over here, stone button, and an item frame like that. After you have that done, we're going to place down a row of two of, uh, or sorry, my bad, a, yeah, row two of nerve brick stairs here, not dark oak wood. So a row two of, uh, nerve brick stairs on both sides like that, with a row three of green stain clay in between them. After we have that done, we're going to take our dark oak, or dark oak stairs, we're going to place down a row of two, come off of those nerve brick stairs like that. In between these stairs, uh, we're going to place down an upside down dark oak wood stair on both sides and an upside down stone brick stair there in the middle. After you guys have that all complete, that is going to do it for layer 2. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer 3. Alrighty guys, go ahead and move on to layer 3. For layer 3, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by taking uh, wooden trap doors. We're going to place down a row of 5 across those green stain clay blocks there in the front. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and take signs and we're going to place down signs coming off these wooden trap doors. Like this, all the way across the front here like so we're then going to go and take green carpet we're going to place down a green carpet on top of those two uh, green stain clay blocks over here on the left side and left left side only we're going to place down a wooden trap door like this we're going to go ahead and go back into our inventory grab ourselves an item frame and we're also going to need a uh, glass block we're going to place down an item frame coming off that wooden trap door and also a glass block like that to make one the uh, the uh, front headlight that's only located on the left side with that complete, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a spruce wood stair. We're going to place down a spruce wood stair like this, come off the wooden trap door, followed by a second uh, spruce wood stair behind it. So we turn this stair into a corner stair, and then we have a regular stair facing forward. Uh, we're then going to take uh, dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three dark oak wood slabs out to the side, and then a green carpet uh, just like that on the side here. Once you guys have that done, we're going to go and take our green uh, stained clay. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of five across the slabs and the stairs directly behind them. And we actually want to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood plank. And we're actually going to go ahead and break this green stain clay block here. Place down a spruce wood plank so it's directly behind this spruce wood stair like so. Continuing on, we're just going to place down a narrow row of green stain clay all the way across. 
Uh, we can then go to the sides here, just place down one, two, three, and four. Green snake plate blocks back, same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. And then uh, we want to go and then place down a row of five of green snake plate that goes across like so. So you have a little bit of turret space in here if you guys want to go and put some kind of interior in here. Uh, this is the space to go ahead and pretty much do it, so right there. Um, anyways, after we have that done, we're going to go and continue on going toward the back. We're going to place down a green snake plate block here on both sides a row of three of spruce wood planks across we then want to grab ourselves polished anisite we're going to place down one two three four and five polished anisite blocks across we're then going to take green stink weight blocks place down one two three four and five green stink weight blocks across if you guys are interested in going ahead and putting the fuel tanks on the back here uh, very simple we're going to use shulker boxes and we're going to place them down on their sides with their bottoms facing toward each other to create one fuel tank and we're going to do the same thing over here on this side uh, basically so just like that. So you have your two uh, fuel tanks like so. We're going to go and grab ourselves an item frame again. Uh, so just in our uh, inventory. We're also going to need to grab ourselves some green stain clay as well. We're going to place down an item frame with green stain clay in it on uh, both ends of these fuel tanks. So just like this, both sides like so. We're then going to go and take signs. We're going to place down a sign here in the middle on that green stain clay block. And then we're also going to place down signs on the shulker boxes like so and those are if you want to add the fuel tanks if not then you'll just go ahead and kind of leave this area blank back here now coming to the sides uh you guys can kind of pick and choose what you guys want to do um i'm going to show you guys where you can pick and choose but uh, one part that's kind of universal for the tank on both sides is this kind of back section here so for this uh we're going to start off by placing down one and two mossy cobblestone walls uh one on the pol one on the green snake weight block and one on the polished anisite block we're then going to place down a dark liquid slab on both sides and again two um mossy cobblestone walls going toward the front like so now when you get to this section here you can kind of pick a choose you guys can choose to put like some cargo boxes or it, like ammo uh, not really ammo boxes but uh just some kind of equipment boxes on the side here or something like that um but also you you could just go and take green carpet and go all the way back to the uh, cobblestone walls but what i did for my tank is i went ahead and went to the left side here i put down two green carpets um and then i went ahead and took spruce wood stairs placed down a row of three spruce wood stairs and then i placed down signs on the front of the spruce wood stairs and of course you guys can move this forward one you can move it back but you can kind of mix it around a little bit especially if a ton of these in one area you can kind of uh go crazy and kind of change this up a little bit just to kind of show a little bit of the di difference in the tanks and stuff like that on the other side i went ahead and i took uh spruce wood uh planks and i went ahead and put a row of five going all the way to the front here coming off this mossy cobblestone wall i then went ahead and grabbed ourselves some signs also some trip bar hooks and i went ahead and took signs uh, place down a sign, tripwire hook, sign, tripwire hook, and a sign like so. And I also went ahead and on top of them, I put down a row of five of wooden uh, pressure plates on the top, just like that. So uh, just kind of goes to show you the little difference you could do in detailing on both sides there to kind of show a little bit of a difference in the tank. Of course, I, what I did right here is the same as I did for this one, but you could switch the sides of it. You can move this one forward. Maybe you can only make, you can make this row three wide right here on the side, or maybe only four wide. It's up to you. you guys can do a lot of changes and stuff like that to kind of make it your own uh, but anyways that's going to do it for layer three let's move on to layer four all right guys moving on to layer four for layer four what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to go to this uh, row of five here green stink we're going to place down a green stink block in the middle on the top of the middle of the uh, block right there we're then going to place down a dark oak wood stair coming off of it followed by a dark oak wood upside down corner stair on both sides of that stair to create something that looks like that so far after we have uh, that all done, we're then going to place down a upside down dark oak wood corner stair like this. So it's coming off this corner stair, goes back, and there's an air corner stair here. So same thing over here on this side like that. After we have that done, we're going to take our green stain clay. We're going to place down a row of five across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. We then want to place down a snow block on both sides, followed by one and two mossy cobblestone walls. Same thing over here, one and two mossy cobblestone walls. Uh, in between these, uh, or on the insides here, these mossy cobblestone walls, we're also going to, going to want to take some green stain clay, put down some green stain clay full blocks. If you guys are doing interior, you guys can get by by not putting these green stain clay blocks, though. I kind of recommend it just to kind of, if you aren't putting interior, just to cover up any uh, empty spaces left open. Um, anyways, continuing on, we're just going to go and place down a row of uh, basically uh, three here of another brick top steps across. We actually need to go and place down a green stain clay block there in the middle, um, like that. And then also, uh, there's like this little, like, uh, you know extra gear strapped to the back of the turret so we're going to start this off by just placing down a row of three here of sandstone top subs again you don't need to have it but it's there as an option um, an accessory anyways uh, going back up here to the front we're going to grab ourselves a stone bun we're going to place it down top of the screen stink block here we're also going to need a zombie head we're going to place down a zombie head on top of this 
um, dark oak wood stair or sorry spruce wood stair like that um, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some redstone comparators we're going to place down a redstone comparator uh, facing this direction on both sides like so uh, we also want to grab ourselves some stone pressure plates we're going to place down one and two one and two on the back here and in the middle just a green carpet like so for the back kind of detailing and all that kind of stuff uh, anyways once you guys have that done that's going to do it for uh, layer uh, four actually one last thing we're going to place down a wooden trap door coming off this dark oak wood stair like so Anyways, once you guys have that done, this is going to do it for layer 4. With that, let's move on to layer 5. Alright guys, moving on to layer 5. For layer 5 to start off with, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this upside down stair up here in the front. Followed by a dark oak wood corner stair on both sides of it. Coming off that dark oak wood stair in the middle, we're going to take dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Um, coming off of that uh, middle stair, 7 dark oak wood slabs. On the bottom of the uh, seventh slab on the out on the far end, we're gonna place down a wooden trap door on the bottom of it. We're also gonna grab ourselves a sign, place down a sign on both sides of this uh, dark oak wood slab, like so. We're also gonna take signs and place them down on both sides of this slab right here that connects up to the uh, dark oak wood stair, like that. After that's done, we're gonna place down a row of three of green stained clay across, followed by a trip bar hook on both sides, like this. After we're going to go and do that, we're going to place down a narrow row of uh, three of green stained clay across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. Uh, we're then going to place down a green stained clay block, again on both sides here. We're going to grab ourselves a spruce wood plank. We're going to place down a spruce wood plank here on the right side, followed by two green stained clay blocks over to the left side. We then want to place down a narrow row of three of green stained clay, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. We're going to place down another row of three of green stained clay, mossy cobblestone wall on both sides, and then a another row of three green stained clay this time just leaving it um, empty on the sides here and then again sandstone slabs on top of these sandstone top slabs uh, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head and also some an end rod we're going to place down a zombie head come off this green stained clay block and also this uh, mossy cobblestone wall we're going to place down an end rod in between them like this on both sides uh, to go ahead and kind of create this little um, ring here on the side which probably could have like cargo or um, some kind of gear strapped to it or something like that Anyways, that's going to do it for layer 5. With that, we're going to move on to our final layers, which are basically going to be layers 6, 7, 8, and 9. Um, so with that, we're going to move on to layers 6 through 9. All right, guys, going ahead and moving on to layers 6 through 9. Uh, for these layers, pretty simple stuff. We're just going to be going ahead and putting the top details on top of the turret and also pretty much the radio antenna, and that's going to do it. Um, anyways, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a row of 3 here of stone uh, pressure plates across the front. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head. We're going to place down a zombie head on both sides like that. We also want to place down a stone button on this um, spruce wood plank right here, right behind that um, zombie head. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a, another zombie head directly behind this one right here, followed by a spruce wood slab, and this is all on the left side um, as well. And then we're going to place down a zombie head on both sides of this spruce wood slab and also on this fourth side going back like so. We also want to go to this green stink plate block here on the left side. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post like that for right now. And then we're just going to take iron bars and place down one, two, and three. Iron bars going up like that for the radio antenna. After that's complete, we also want to go ahead and take a uh, spruce wood slab. We're going to place it down here on this green stain clay block right here. And then we just want to take stone buns and place down a row of three across the uh, back like so. Once we have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, the T44 medium tank. Uh, overall, really cool build and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Uh, if you guys do end up using this design, I do hope that you guys give me proper credit for it. Um, this uh, basically could be anything from just putting a sign on the build or basically giving, putting a link to this uh, video in the description or something like that if this appears on any so social media sites. Just be sure you get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.